I am really sick of this format. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host of the most, Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that like and subscribe button so that we can inch even closer out of this terrible format if I could get myself into position here. Oh, I am honestly so glad to be back from YCS Indianapolis. Not only because of the fact that like I was so tired after the trip that I just needed a few days to recover, but also because of the fact that I'm just really tired of this format. It was funny looking at some of the uh, written event coverage, and they had asked someone what card they don't want to see this weekend, and they're like, I never want to see Snake Eyes Ash again in my life. And it was really funny because it's like it goes to show you where people's minds are right now with the current state of the game. I will say I do think it's great that come February in 2025, Konami just posted a little while ago today that we are going to finally have another YCS in Orlando, Florida. There hasn't been a YCS in Orlando since like 2010, and it had 400 people. We get 400 people for regionals now, which just goes to show how much the game has exploded. But we need a new ban list. We need a new format, and that's really what I just wanted to talk about today because... I've been dabbling with Infinite Forbidden stuff. I've been messing around with the Fiendsmith cards, which are absolutely crazy. Like, if we get Phantom of Ubel in, like, Infinite Forbidden or Terminal Revenge, like, it shows over. Like, you're going to have to play something Fiend-related. It's going to be absolutely insane. Um, but I also am waiting for a ban list because I just don't care to play the game right now. And I'm actually, little fun fact for all y'all subscribers, which is why you should subscribe, I'm actually going to be focusing more on longer form content like how we did the retrospective series um and i really want to get back to making like retrospective content um like i really want to make a tier element retrospective video because i feel like that's just the most powerful you give deck of all time um you know stuff like that i want to focus on making longer form content that's a little bit more entertaining than just hey here's my thoughts on what should happen on the next ban list hey we need an emergency ban list hey Yu Gi Oh's in a bad spot right now it feels like it's dying because that's just saying what everybody else is agreeing that is what's happening with the current format. You know, no one wants to play Snake Eyes anymore. You look at the Fiendsmith stuff, combining it with Snake Eyes, it's absolutely insane. I do think the pile decks are going to be a thing post-Infinite Forbidden because we have so many generically good cards that don't really lock you into anything. So I think that that's going to be interesting to see. Plus, we've got the Millennium cards too. That's four free bodies without using your normal summons. You can just make an Apollosa and you're good to go. But... Just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is just so impossible. Like, I really want to play with the Fiendsmith cards. I want to play with the stuff out of Infinite Forbidden, and I'm just like, what the fuck is the point if you're not playing Snake Eyes? Like, I'm sure someone in the comments is, that was my Tinder, I apologize. Your boy's still out here trying to find a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, besides my Tinder going off, <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, besides that going off, I'm sure someone's going to say in the comments, like, hey, my Aromage deck or, hey, my Cyber Dragon deck beat Snake Eyes at your locals. Congratulations. Like, when you look at the most successful decks in the fucking room, as long as you're not me running into Dinomorphia round one and watch the player scrub out uh, at YCS Indianapolis, like, uh, Snake Eyes is the best fucking deck. Like, no one's going to sit here and argue that. I'm sure that there are a lot of other issues. Well, actually, I shouldn't even say I'm sure because I know that people have other issues with the game, such as no events in Europe. I'm hearing rumors that it's because Konami of Europe went over their budget last year, so they're not able to have any events right now, or at least as many. Um, I'm also hearing that they're kind of pulling back support for the game in Europe, which I don't think is really true. I've heard people talk about like the packs and core sets and stuff, how that needs to change. I don't know how much I really agree with that. But as a content creator, it's just so difficult when you want to talk about the game, when you want to, you know, explore things in the game and you really can't because it's just all Snake Eyes all the time. I know that there's other decks that did well at Indie, but 23 decks were playing Snake Eyes cards. Like it was either pure Snake Eyes or something with Snake Eyes in it. Like uh, there's, there's no room for discussion there. Like it's really whatever you know it's bad even when players like jesse cotton are saying yeah we we need a change in this format he was on labyrinth i don't really know why but it's it's just a boring format like this is one of those formats that honestly reminds me of tier element like people tried to say the tier element mirror match was fun to watch i don't see fucking how like i've tried to go back and watch some of those mirror matches 
watching players go up to chain link 14 is not entertaining. Like, that's actually been a complaint that players have had for a while, that Yu-Gi-Oh! is just not fun to watch on stream. It's really not, and I don't think a format change solves that. Like, I get that watching the same deck over and over gets boring, but, like, you're watching two grown-ass people play cards. Like, it's not going to be animated like the anime or, like, holograms and shit. Like, that'd be cool if they did something like that, but that's just never going to happen. And so now we just patiently or not patiently, depending on who you are, sit here with our thumbs up our butts, spinning in a chair, waiting for the ban list to drop. Some people have said we need an emergency ban list. I don't think that's going to happen, which is the other point I wanted to touch on. Nationals, at least for North America, is next month. Uh, Infinite Forbidden will be legal the same weekend. So you mean to tell me that Konami is going to drop a ban list like a month and change-ish before Nationals to like kill Snake Eyes and then like reset the format starting at Nats? I don't think that's going to happen. Now, the OCG does get a ban list in July. Uh, we usually get a list after the OCG. I think the moment that Nationals ends, Konami is going to, like, immediately just come together and be like, we need a ban list, like, five minutes ago and throw one out. That's what I see happening. Like, I think going into Worlds in September, I think we're going to have a fresh TCG list. And then, you know, whatever list they choose to make with the TCG and OCG combined. Um, and then come October, we get Rage of the Abyss. And definitely by October, we will be in a fresh format. Uh, we may even get another, another ban list. Like, uh, the game is going to get cleaned up. The issue is, is that we don't know when. And I've been saying this shit for years, that we need end dates on our ban list again. But what the fuck do I know? I guess I'm just a small channel with 1,400 subscribers. Who's been playing the game for 16 years? Oh, wait. I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to that. I remember when formats had end dates. Now, was it perfect then? No, because at times you were waiting nine months for a ban list, six months for a ban list, and you're just like, imagine being in a tier zero format for nine months. We're actually approaching that with Snake Eyes. Also, did you know that not counting Team YCS's, Snake Eyes has won the most number of YCSs in a row. I think without the Team YCSs, it's at four. And if you count the two Team YCSs, you're at six. So that should speak for itself how powerful Snake Eyes is and how much we need a ban list. But again, when can we expect one? I don't think we're going to get one until July. Do I think they're going to wait till August? Fuck no. Uh, that would be a terrible idea. Um, but mid-July, late July, probably... Because Konami could reveal one, but then they're like, hey, it doesn't go into effect until late July. So I think that they're going to let Infinite Forbidden come out. They're going to see what the power creep does. They're going to let Nats happen because no way in hell that they're going to make people change up their decks, buy a ban list, then also buy Infinite Forbidden product at like a sneak peek or whatever to then change their deck again. Like people will be pissed that are going to Nationals. They will be mad pissed. So... I'm going to keep making content. I'm going to make longer form content, so I probably won't be able to post every day. I'm going to try and post every day, especially if I have something that I just want to talk about. But I at least want to give my thoughts and kind of just talk to you guys about where my mindset's at with the game because it's in a really rough spot right now. And it honestly makes me worried about the future. You know, how do we know that if once we get a new ban list that people aren't just like, well, I'm already jaded from this current format even with this new ban list i don't care i'm gonna quit the game we could see something like that happen you know we could get a new ban list that is just a garbage list that snake eyes is still a good deck you know that's why i'm hoping that what they do is they just decimate snake eyes i know that snake eye ash is gonna be an ultimate rare in the ots packs but there's still other ways you can hit the deck. You can ban OSS, and I think that solves a good bit of issues. I do still think that Flamberge and Promethean Princess should be banned, that Wanted should go to one, and Popular and Ash should go to one, Black Witch should go to one. Like, a lot of that stuff just needs to be taken out back and shot. Like, we need to see a massive list. But only time will tell when we get that. And it makes it so hard to play. Like, I've really just been... I've been deck building and theory crafting with the Fiendsmith stuff. Which, the Fiendsmith stuff is really cool. Like, it's, it's actually, like, really fun. But, like, to actually sit down and play, like, nah, man. It's just Snake Eyes. Like, it's just kind of whatever. You're tired of seeing the same shit. So, here's to hoping that we get a ban list sometime soon. In the meantime, I'm going to start writing up a script talking about why Tier Element is the most powerful deck of all time. I think y'all will enjoy 
that retrospective. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. What are you doing during this time period? Are you quitting the game? Are you going to One Piece, Lorcana, Magic, whatever? You know, I would love to know what y'all think. Um, I wanted to get into One Piece and, and Lorcana, but it just... I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, man. I've tried other card games. I tried Card Fight Vanguard. I couldn't get into it. It just... It wasn't my cup of tea. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.